Once again, the Birmingham Stallions are back on top as USFL champions, and now they're preparing to go for a three-peat in spring football as our Jake Stansel has a sideline view at Protective. You might be able to see the banner behind me up in the upper deck of the stadium here at Protective. Spring football champs in 2022, 2023, and now the Birmingham Stallions are getting on up to St. Louis for a chance at a third straight title after beating Michigan for a third straight time this season in the USFL championship game. It started ugly. The Panthers would go up by as much as 15. Lots of field goals, lots of penalties against Birmingham. But as slow as that first half was, Stallions made it a six-point game at the half down 18-12. That championship DNA, though, kicked in. Bend, don't break. Skip Holt said it best. They needed a spark. Enter Matt Corral in at quarterback in one of the most electric moments of the game. 15-yard reception to Ricky Person Jr. The Stallions, 28 unanswered points in the second half, and we will see them in St. Louis with the final score of 31 to 18. Just kind of had to figure them out at first, but um, you know, once we made those halftime adjustments, and Coach came in and told us, you know, you know, start creating turnovers. We need some more turnovers, and we went out there and got the job done. When it's all said and done, we'll look back. You know what I mean? But right now, we got to keep our eyes going forward. Right now, we're not done yet. The Stallions will now wait for the winner between St. Louis and San Antonio in the XFL championship game going down Sunday night to play for the inaugural UFL title. One last giddy up here at Protective Stadium. Jake Stansel, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side.